no, I've gone the wrong way. That's a mess. There is flowbiz on my shoe. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Talk. We are here in Doha at the Qatar Grand Prix. As ever, I'm joined by our resident technical expert, <laughs> Hi, Albert Laura. Fabrica. Hello, Albert. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. You? Good, excellent. I'm very good. This week... I'm not talking... sure if you're going to be good after the, <laughs> this one. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I never know what I'm getting myself in for here. We are talking about aerodynamics. Now, of course, they're at the very heart of Formula One. Yep. Each of our teams are working incredibly hard to understand how the air is affecting the surface of their cars. A lot of that work, of course, is done in the factory, testing certain parts using CFD or computational fluid dynamics and indeed wind tunnel testing as well. Yep. But they also need to see how the actual car responds, reacts, is affected by the actual track. Exactly. And that's where all of this comes in out there. <laughs> yep. What can you tell us? Because the thing is that the air is clear. So we cannot, do, we cannot see what the air is doing when it's touching the surface of the car. So it's very important for the teams to understand how the air is moving around the car the pressures and anything related to it to first to see if it's working as expected and to correlate the data they have from as you said the CFD and the wind tunnel to know if the car is working as expected that isn't easy because there is a lot of science behind and there's a few methods yes. aren't there? And we're going to go through some of them yeah. right now and some of them you may have seen in pre-season testing just to give exactly. you a sort of glimpse of what we're about to be doing. Uh, let's start with air pressure. Exactly. How do we measure that on a the car? The rugs that we have seen mainly during the pre-season or when a, a team is uh, bringing a big upgrade, they used to put all these rugs of sensors, kill proof sensors, mm -hmm. they measure the pressures and they can do a very good map to see how is the uh, air moving, for example, behind the wheel, under the floor or any single part of the car so they can understand and do a map of drawing of certain area of the car, measuring the, the pressure and the speed of the air there. Okay, that's pretty high tech, I we guess. We cannot bring that. Um, I, it's I'm, not in I'm my luggage. I'm disappointed, if I'm honest, Albert. I was expecting an aerodynamic uh, rake from you, but okay, well, next you best You will not is. be disappointed, <laughs> I guess, at the end. There is oh, another no. method. This is an a, a old thrown wing, but we can see that the, the teams wants to measure, for example, two things. Basically, they need to, to understand two things, where the air is going and what's the pressure that, uh, where the air is touching the surface. So they put little holes like this one in this uh, under part of the wing with these pipes that is collecting the pressure and send it to a sensor. So the team can put different points of these different uh, holes with different pipes in many parts of this wing so they can understand what the air is doing when he's touching the surface of the wing. It happened on the wings, it happened on the floors, on the diffuser, in many parts of the, the, uh, the car. They used to put these kind of sensors, these pipes that goes to a sensor to convert this physical signal to an electric signal, then to analyze the data. It's Very, impressive. Yeah. Yeah, it's Very impressive. Thin it is. It's yeah. It's That's impressive. amazing. Yep. The amount of information okay. that can relay. That's air pressure then, isn't it? Yes. What about air flow? Air flow. Yeah, <laughs> because I, 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 this is what we have. Uh, I'll show you. This is a very big wing upside down. Uh huh. Yes, okay. I see. And it, it came to me. String. This, yeah, this coming from the air, airspace, uh, old technologies, and this would uh, tufts. It's called tufts. tufts. Strips. Yeah. Tufts. There tufts. We go. Okay. We saw that in in Monza with Alpine. You remember in Alpine, they put some uh, strips like that in uh, the rear uh, wing, upside down like this one. They put it also on the beam wings. And we saw also in Singapore, Mercedes working on that on the floor. Mm -hmm. What's that? Well, you, you see, if we blow air here, we will see how it's moving and what way. And if he's staying, if the strips are staying attached and the air is attached to the surface, we will see that the strips are completely flat. If they are detached, it, it will become crazy. Okay, let's see it in action. You want to try? Yeah, let's have a go. Okay, we have the blower. Our wind tunnel. <laughs> Cheap wind tunnel. 40 euros in Bahrain, I bought last year. <laughs> and it's blowing air, nothing strange. So the first thing I noticed when I was trying to understand uh, or to reproduce what is going on with this is that if... Let's put a little bit more pressure. Okay. Oh. They become completely crazy. So that's not possible because the air is attached to the, to the surface of the wing. Well, the reason is that this is turning a lot. Okay, it's turbulent air. Turbulent air, okay. dirty air. As if, you so, were, as if you were following closely? Yes, we cannot measure the things in a dirty air. So part of the wind tunnel is to have laminal, of course, laminar air. Of course, you've made your own. And I say, okay, I have to do something <laughs> to stop a little bit this turbulence. So this is just an expansion box with many tubes inside. And let's see if when we blow it through it, okay, 
we see a little bit more of uh, stabilization. Of the oh, you see? Much stable. When the air, when the air is attached to the surface, we see that the strips are going completely straight. And Super we straight. start getting separation. The separation is very important, so the teams need to measure the separation. If we could even put a little bit more of angle, mm -hmm. like this, we would see that they become a little bit cra even more crazy because the air is separating for the from the from surface, the surface okay. and then creating like a turbulence to that understand that's the boundary layer mm -hmm. creating a turbulence that we will see that the, the wood is becoming a little bit crazy this is very difficult to reproduce here because we are not in a wind tunnel but i have something to understand this sticky pen a, a sticky pen <laughs> sticky pen i don't want to know why <laughs> it's, it's sticky it's, it's but the there boat. we go gonna... yeah okay <laughs> just put it behind the first uh, I, I will blow and then when i'm blowing you put it here so okay. we will create the air separating from yep. the surface of the wing and we will see we'll what's see going on and we can see that the strips becoming crazy are you ready so I'm ready. i will blow air and we'll see that everything is straight and then you, you put it in the pen okay very straight yep. and stick in the pen look at that oh they become completely crazy yeah wow they become completely crazy though so we make the wing to stall you know when they say oh the the, the wing is stalling it's not creating any downforce because there is this separation that we are artificially creating with a pen, but what we do is to separate the flow from the surface of the wing, and it becomes a little bit turbulent, it becomes a little bit uh, like an stalk, yeah. So we can see that really clearly now. How yeah. do the aerodynamicists get that information relayed back ah, to them? The good, the good thing with these uh, things is that you can test it in different speeds, you can test it in a corner. You see, if we blow the air here, we can, we can see what's going on. When we are in a corner, we can check it in different speeds, maybe in a lower speed, they are re reacting in a manner. When we are in a high speed, they are reacting in a different manner. So it's completely different. And if you have a good camera, mm -hmm. as Alpine and Mercedes had, you can record what the airflow is doing during a lap, in different conditions, okay. high speed, low speed, in a braking, when the car is moving up and down. So you have uh, different points of view. Great stuff. Yeah, old school one. Very old school. Very old school. Uh, is there a new school method, dare I ask, for <laughs> measuring? Yes. Understanding flow, things are about to get very messy. You know that colour? Flow viz <laughs> yes. and how it works. Luminous colours, we've got many different pots yep. over here. Talk us through it, Albert. Yeah, well, what is flow viz? It's nothing else that's a mixture of a powder, colour powder, you see, like this one, and with a light oil that normally is paraffin. And okay. we mixed it and we get. Flow viz. Flow viz. <laughs> There's different colors. We can be red, it can be clear, but if it's clear, then you need a uh, ultraviolet uh, light to understand what's okay. going on. So it's nothing else than a liquid. You see? It's incredibly bright. Yes. It's what we see on the cars during, of course, pre season yeah. testing, but yep. equally through practice sessions. We saw some on Max Verstappen's rear wing at this very race. The thing is that we put color to the air and we understand what the flow structures are doing when they touch the surface of the car. Here we see that the strips are moving. Now we want to leave a good uh, register to take photos of what the air is doing. You want to do it? Okay, I, I'm i going to protect for... what I'm wearing. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm no. going to put an apron I'm on. Sorry, yeah, you can you hold the microphone yes, while, I, sure while I, I do this? Thank you. Sure I can. Uh, Just. Okay, that's it. It's dangerous. <laughs> you have an insurance? Just in case? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh, what we need to do is to completely paint the surface. We want to understand what the flow, we, the airflow is doing, and send the car on track. I can have this track. back now. How do I yeah. look? Okay. Ready? Ready. Fantastic. Okay. Maybe you need some gloves, but just anyway. a normal anyway. day at work. Okay. Then do I get they, to do this? They paint the car completely with this stuff, okay. and then they send it to the track. And when the uh, light oil that we have there is evaporating, is drying the paint, is drying the powder. And then we, we will see what the air is doing when it's touching the surface. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. And I'm just literally pouring this yeah, in here. In, okay. In no okay. way. Oh, no, I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's a mess. We just created like a little <laughs> bit like this. La, 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 la. And then we send the current track. We cannot send the current track. We have smells to smells stronger. Yeah, it is. It's oil. Mm. It's, it's light oil. And then we send the current track and then we see what's going on and okay. what the air is doing on, on, on the wheel. Okay. Obviously, we don't have the speed that we wanted. We can go a little bit more speed without the filter. Is yeah, it's uh, handmade, you know. 
<laughs> it's gone. The, the wing but is okay. No wings were harmed in the making of this if video. If we keep blowing, we will see that the uh, light oil is evaporating, and it's generating, as you can see, the way that the air is is uh, following yeah. and the flow structures and the air structures are following. If we have a detachment as we have seen, if we can put here the sticky pen and create a separation of flow, we would see completely broken things here. Wow. So it means that there is a separation of flow and uh, it's not working as expected. But at least the teams have a reference, they can take pictures, send it to the CFD, send it to the aero departments to compare what is going really on the car when we paint the air uh, with this as well and then what they have on the simulation. If it's Spot it on, fantastic. If not, they have a problem. There is Flovis on my shoe. <laughs> How is we the went paddle? the wrong way. I'm a little bit worried about <laughs> and the paddle. Look, Albert, of, of these methods, which is your preferred? Uh, I like this old school thing. Okay. It's really nice. It's really nice. When I saw that on the on the Alpine and then on the Mercedes, I said, "Wow, that's fantastic!" Because you can see you could see live what the air is doing when it's on the on the track. This, okay, you have the pad, you have when everything is dry, but. This is fantastic. It looks spectacular. Yeah. But like you say, the old school method. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Great stuff. Albert, as ever. <laughs> Sorry Thank for that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry, Alucile. <laughs> Join us in Austin for another episode of Tech Talk. <laughs>